hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to this and stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome for today's tutorial these are my required measurements so i'm going to be needing my gown length which is 54 inches the attachment for the sleeve the one that goes around by the side so i'll be using five inches for that the sleeve length is 10 inches the sleeve length is around the elbow area because i don't want it too long so the sleeve length is around the elbow area somewhere here by the time i add my attachments everything is ending somewhere here i don't want it long so the shoulder is 14 inches then the calculation I need to cut this fabric, the gown length, which is 54 inches, I'll minus 5 inches, which is the attachment. Because the attachment is also getting to the M of the gown. So I need to minus what I need for that attachment. If I don't, the gown will be too long when I had that fabric. So the gown length, 54 inches minus 5 inches, which is the attachment plus 0 0.5 for the steam allowance so i have 49.5 inches that is what i'm using to cut this fabric then the attachment which is 5 inches i'm going to add 0 0.5 steam allowance so that makes it 5.5 when i'm cutting the attachment then the shoulder which is 14 inches i'm going to divide it by two that is seven inches plus 10 inches which is my sleeve length plus 0 0.5 seam allowance so that is 17.5 inches so the 17.5 inches i'm going to minus 5 inches which is, which is the attachment so that makes it 12.5 i'll be using 12.5 inches to cut the shoulder plus sleeve so i've gone ahead to fold my fabric I folded the length I folded this into two I folded into two then I'm folding this into two again that makes it four I want to cut my front and back together so that makes it four so my shoulder they are unfold the two shoulder will be unfold I don't want to put joining on the shoulder and then the center front and center back will be on fold also so i have 49.5 i have 49.5 here as my length remember after calculation the gown length is 49.5 so i have 49.5 here And then my shoulder plus sleeve and all that is 12.5. So from the center here, I'm going to measure 12.5 inches. After measuring my 12.5 inches at the corner here i'm going to go up by five inches i want to curve my gown so i'm going up by five inches and i'm going to curve that into the m and into the side i'm going to curve that into the m and into the side then i'm going to cut it out For the neckline, I'm going to cut three and a half. 
as my neck width now i'm going to cut two and a half as my neck depth so i'm going to cut the back neckline first then i'll later now cut for the front so this is three and a half by two and a half So I'm going to open it up and get the front and then increase my neckline. I'll get the middle of my neckline and take just one. This is the second one. I'll take that out. So that will be the back and this will be my front. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring down the neckline for the front. You can make yours the same. I make the neckline the same thing. I'm going to be using 1.5 inches. Then I'll curve it back to the shoulder. I'm not curving it back all the way to the to the back. I'm not curving it all the way like this because I'm not increasing here. I'm only increasing it at the center front. Then blend it back into the shoulder so this is my shoulder so this is the front and this is the back So for the attachments, I'll be using a tool fabric or net fabric. I don't want to use fabric. I want to use tool. So I've gone ahead to cut my tool. I cut the full length of the tool. And the wideness, remember in our calculation, Remember in our calculation, the attachment is 5.5 inches. So I've gone ahead. I folded it into two because I don't want to tidy the raw edge. So I've gone ahead to fold this into two and I have 5.5 here. I have 5.5 as my length. So by the time I use 0.5 to sew it to the fabric, I will have 5 inches left. Feel free to make your adjustments to the calculation or to the measurement as you wish. So I'm going to have to cut this. I have like 5 of this. This is the full length of the two from selvage to selvage. So I have about 5 of it. One two three four and five so i have five of it the length of the tool is about 60 inches from selvage to selvage is 60 inches so i have five of this So, the best thing is to join them. You join them, use 0 0.5 inch or 0 0.25. So, you join all the two pieces together. After joining all the pieces together, I'm going to fold it into two. After joining them together, I'm going to fold it into two. Then I'm going to open up my fabric. So I'll start from the right side of the fabric. I can start from anywhere. I can start from the shoulder. I can start from the shoulder. So on the right side of the fabric, I'll put my two. Or if you are using fabric, you put it this way. If you are using fabric, you might not want to double. You tidy the edge. Either you overlock it, you weave it, or you fold it and sew it or if you wish to double like i'm doing you can double also i won't be gathering the 
clothes all the way around i will only pleat it around where i have the curve at the m that is where i'm going to pleat or you can go ahead and gather yours around there or all the way around so my two fabric will not be enough if i decide to gather it all the way around so i'm going to just place it straight so from the shoulder i'm, I'm going to just sew it straight this way i'll sew it straight this way then when i'm approaching the curve so this is my curve so from somewhere here i'll start to give it um, half inch plates so i'll go a distance of three inches or four inches give it a pleat go another three or four inches give it a pleat so all the way round because it's curved all the way back to this place remember i started from somewhere here so i'll pleat it i'll sew a bit pleat sew a, pleat, a bit and pleat and then i'll come and end my pleating here so when i'm done pleating the remaining fabric as i'm sewing i'll then make it straight again i'll make it straight again and sew it all the way so that is how i'm going to do mine so this is what i have now as you can see this is straight it's straight here yeah? but from the curve here yeah? have it pleated like i said i'll go i'll go um a short distance and pleat i'll go another distance pleat you know that is the way i did the curved parts so i pleated the curved parts so this is it you can see you can choose to do as you wish all the way around but this is what my fabric is long enough to do so this is the curved part. So this is the curved part. Fabric is opened. Let's assume this is the back. This is the front. This is my neckline. So it's opened when I was attaching that two. So now, after attaching the two, I'm going to tidy my neckline. I can choose to use facing or bias or i can just fold it just tiny tiny bits like this and so so i'll tidy my neckline i'm done with the neckline then the attachment like i explained earlier i made this straight here then at the curve i decided to give it pleats spaced pleats so i decided to give it pleats all the way to this place also have pleats here and because it's curved it's advisable to give it pleats so i have my pleats that way so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to measure the wideness of the dress the last measurement i'm going to need is the wideness of the body of the dress so i can choose to use either the bust or the hip whichever one that is the biggest that is what i'm going to use for this then i'll give it this allowance so i'm going to get the body of the dress like i said i'll be using the hip because the hip is the biggest so the hip is 38 inches i'll be adding two inches so that will be 40 inches. 38 plus is. That will be 2 inches. So that makes it 40 inches. I'll be using 40 inches for the wideness of the dress. So you can make yours wider. You can use 4 inches as your ease. But I want it a bit fitted. Because it's for, it's for a young person, not for an older person so i'll be using 40 inches for the body of the dress
remember the body of the dress is 40 inches wide so i'll divide 40 inches by 2 that will be 20 inches so because my dress is open this way i'll be using 20 inches i'll locate the center i have a crease at the center so when i folded it there was a crease created there was a fold or crease created at the center so that is what i'll be using as my guideline as the center i have a crease at the center so at the center i'll have 10 inches at the center so 10 on this side 10 on this side that makes it 20 inches so i've gone ahead i don't want to use chalk you can use chalk but because this is the right side of the fabric and i don't want to start cleaning it so i'm going to use pin to identify where my 20 inches is so i have pin on this side already and i have pin on this side so that makes it 20 inches this is 20 inches So I've done the same here also. I have pin here, I have pin here. So that makes it 20 inches. So I, have, I put pin on the sides where I'm going to sew. Then from the shoulder here, I'm going to measure um, a space for my arm hole where my arm can enter. So I'm going to be using my arm hole divided by two. So the arm hole is 16 inches i divided it by two that is eight inches so i've measured eight inches here and i have my pin here so i know where i'm starting my sewing here so i've put the pin horizontally here i've done the same here so from the shoulder eight inches so i put my pin horizontally so i know where i'm starting my stitching Also at the end, I need to create um, space. If it was not curved, I would have called it a slit. So I need to create space for it for walking. You know, when I sew straight, I have to stop somewhere because it's curved. I have to sew straight and stop somewhere, and then this other part will be opened. So from the M here, I've gone ahead to measure 16 inches. So from the knee, this is supposed to be around the knee area. So from the knee to the feet area, I have 16 inches. So I've used my pin to mark it. I did it horizontal again. So that I will know where to stop. When I start sewing, I know where to stop so i've done the same for this other side i've measured my 16 inches and i have my pin here also to know where i'm going to stop here so now i'm going to do my final stitching let me go over it again so i've measured eight inches for the armhole area and i've used my pin to mark it horizontally so i'm going to be sewing from there, I'm going to be sewing straight down and I'll stop here. My and I'll stop here, my 16 inches, where I put the pin horizontally. So I'm sewing the two fabrics, front and back, and I'm sewing on the right side of the fabric. Exactly the way it is like this, I'm sewing on the right side this way. And I'm stopping here. So I'm doing the same for the other side. So I'm done with my stitching. As you can see, I stopped here. So on the other side too, I stitched from here and stopped right here. So this is the space for the arm pass. And this is the back. This is the back.
thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please kindly like share comment subscribe if you're new here and click the notification bell thank you